Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our channel once again. My name is Bimbo. If you're just coming across our channel, this is Jack Ma with your days. And on this channel, we provide relevant and informative relocation opportunities to all our viewers and subscribers. If you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always watching the video that we post on this channel. And if you are returning viewers as well, thank you very much for seeing some value in the video that we post on this channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notifications. Also give this video a thumbs up so that you know uh, I and my teams will feel that uh, we've provided uh, some relevant information to you today as well okay and of course let us also know where you are watching from it's how we connect to you and how we know that uh, this region of uh, country or this region or this country uh the people that uh, we served and that they are the people that are always interested in the videos that we post on this channel okay now let's go to the opportunity that i want to quickly share to us today. Now, Ireland has released some critical job opportunities. What does this mean? There are some job opportunities that are considered as critical to the economy of Ireland, and they are currently recruiting or looking for international applicants to come into Ireland under these critical professions that has been listed, okay? And what this means is that if you are able to secure employment opportunity under this critical profession in Ireland, within two years, you will have an opportunity to be able to apply for permanent residence. And if you reside legally in Ireland, working under this same profession, after five years, you will have an opportunity to apply for citizenship. Now, you can move to Ireland with your family, and Ireland is considered one of the safest places to live in and raise children because you will, your children will have opportunity to access free education, free health care, among other benefits that their citizens can enjoy. These are the things that you and your family will be also be exposed to. Now, even if your profession is not among the list of the critical professions that has been you know, listed out by the government of Ireland, you can also look for job from any of the agencies that I'm going to be listing today on the video description, apply to them. And once you are able to secure a job, you can also move to Ireland such that the employer will be the one sponsoring you. However, if you secure a job among the list of the profession that are considered critical professions or critical employment lists in Ireland, you have to sponsor yourself and your family to Ireland. So that is the difference between those professions or those jobs that are listed under the critical employment list in Ireland and those ones that are not considered or listed under the critical employment list. That is the only difference. One requires that you sponsor yourself, you and your family to Ireland, and the other one, it is the employer. Once they give you employment opportunity, it is the employer that will sponsor you and your family to Ireland. So today, I'll be showing to you the details about each of these jobs that are available, the critical employment list that has been released by the government of Ireland in IT, in manufacturing, in, you know, in different sector, I'll be showing to you the different lists or the different professions that has been listed under this critical employment list in Ireland. So come with me. Let me quickly show you the details about each of these professions and how you can sort each of these agencies that are actively recruiting to Ireland. Okay, come with me. Let me quickly show them to you. And if, and if this is the first time that you're seeing our channel, this is Jack Ma with their days. And on this channel, we provide relevant information like this. So like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Also give this video a thumbs up, okay? And share it to your loved ones, okay? Let's quickly check this information together, okay? So this is the official website 
for the government of Ireland, and this is the critical skills occupation list that was released 20th of December 2023. And uh, let's quickly check each of the professions that are considered critical employment list, okay? Uh, uh, employment category, we have under production managers, site managers, we have ICT, we have health and social services managers and directors, we have managers and proprietors, we have natural and social sciences professions, and there are many professions that are listed in, in under each of these uh, categories that I'm listing. We have engineering professions, and then, you know, the, the list goes, and we have information technology and tech telecommunication professional. So these are all the list of jobs, IT business analyst, programmer, software. So there are many jobs that are listed under each category. And we have health professional, medical pro practitioner, psychologist, you know, radiographer, healthcare assistants, li 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 I mean, name it, therapy professionals, nursing and midwifery professionals, and technical and education professionals, business research and administrative. So the list goes on and on, architect, welfare. So you can, I will, like I said, I will provide the link to each of these uh, 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 websites on the video description so that you can do extensive research about the critical occupation list that was released by the government of Ireland. Now, now, these are the ways in which you can also sort for jobs. All of these websites will also be provided. Now, for instance, we, are, we can see together that healthcare assistance is under the critical employment list. So you can search on this place, the Irish jobs website, you can search, search for healthcare assistance and you will see that uh, per hour, that is 13,000, sorry, 13 euro, 50 cents to 19 euro. That is the minimum pay per hour. And the jobs goes on healthcare assistant. There are very many different cities in Ireland. Okay. There are very many for healthcare assistants. And you can even come here. And also, maybe you are a social worker and you have experience in social work. You can also come here and search for social work opportunity because it is also under the critical employment list. You can you see them. Different cities, different pay, different opportunities. They are massive here, okay? And then the employment opportunities are there. So let's assume you, you know, you you want to apply for one of them. Let's uh, let's just click on one of them here. So once you click on one of them, it will just take you to where you need to apply immediately. Once you've read, once you've read all the details, requirements, and everything, just click on apply. It, if you have created an account before, it will ask you to log in. If you have not created an account, it will ask you to create an account by putting in your email. So you can, so you, so you see, you can just put your email to create an account. So it will, it will take you straight to where you'll be able to uh, create an account, you know, add your CV and every other information that are essential. And if you want to sort for any other jobs, depending on what your profession is and any areas of your professions, you can search for them under these sessions and it would show to you each of the categories of the professions and the different cities in which each of these jobs are available. And there are also some websites that I will also be providing here. This is another website that you can, I mean, I will be dropping up to about 10 or 12 of this agency on the video description so that you can go to each of the website. Now, some of these websites also have an opportunity such that uh, you can, such that you can register with them and then submit your CV. And as you can see here, this is one of them. You can submit your CV, you can create an account, submit your CV and continually update them so that by the time they stumble in, on any opportunities that readily match your skills, you will not bother to, uh, I mean, to be, you know, posting such jobs again or looking for applicants because they will already have your CV and then they will immediately contact you to be able to discuss that opportunities and the job descriptions with you. And if it is what you like and it is what you can do, you you you, you guys move ahead on the uh, recruitment process and then they'll be able to you know give you the job. So on this website, these are the jobs available and you can also sort them based on the cities that you want. If you prefer any particular cities in Ireland, okay, you, uh, you have sorted them based on permanent jobs and have sorted them based on Ireland. And if you have any particular cities in mind that you want to sort them based on. You can also sort them based on if it you want on-site jobs or if you, if you want hybrid jobs. That is one of the websites. And this is another one. As I said, you can also register 
with any of these agencies, it makes your life very easy. If you search all the current uh, vacancies that they have uh, available, and if any of the job does not suit you, you can register and add your CV to them. And I'm sure each of these opportunities, like I said, each of these jobs, as long as your job is not on the ineligible uh, job list, you can also apply the difference between critical occupation list and those ones that are not on the critical occupation list is that one require that uh, you sponsor yourself and the other one require that the employer, once they give you an employment opportunity, they are the one that will be responsible to sponsor you to Ireland. And if your job is among the critical occupation list, that means that after working for two years, you are eligible to apply for their permanent residence. And after five years, you can apply for their citizenship. OK, so you see, these are essential informations. And this opportunity is something that you cannot afford to miss. OK, and that's why I said I would not want to bore you with different informations or, you know, make this video to be too lengthy. I will provide all the links, about 10 to 12 of them on the video description so that you can go there yourself and you know start researching each of these websites and you know start applying to them okay and let's assume that uh, you want to apply for one of the job that is not on the critical occupation list let's assume you you have experience you are a forklift driver or forklift operations you can search for occupy one of them here and then uh, just forklift driver you can search for them here you see they are very very many. They have them in numbers in different cities, and you can see their pay per hour in 19 euro to 11 cents per hour. Forklift driver cities, you know, Cork, Cork, uh, Cork, and then this is the company that is recruiting them. Uh, rich forklift driver operator, you know, they have their opportunities are enormous. Warehouse operative, warehouse operators, store persons. Where so even if your job is not among the list of uh, uh, critical occupation list, just ensure to check the list of uh, um, uh, ineligible list to ensure that your job is not considered as ineligible. Once your job is not among those that are considered as ineligible, you have the opportunity to be able to submit your applications. And before you know it, you and your family will be uh, going or moving to Ireland. And as I said, Ireland is a very beautiful country. It's one of the safest places to live in and raise children, okay? And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we bring opportunities and information like this, you will be the first person to get notifications, okay? It will come your way next time. Thank you very, very much for watching once again. Bye-bye for now.